Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be focusing on a tangerine look. The first product we're going to use is the Everyday Sunscreen by Mamad. I know it's not the first time I use this, but I do use it because it is one of my favorites. For our foundation, we're going to be using the Mamad Brightening Cover Watery Cushion in number 23, Beige. You're just going to tap it on your skin. And as you can see, the foundation is really white, but let's not panic just yet. We're going to keep applying it and let's not forget to blend the foundation all the way down to our neck. Next is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and we're only going to apply it on our lids. Then we're going to go ahead and blend it out with a beauty blender. We are now going to go in with the Fit Me Powder in 225 and place that on our eyelids as well. We are now going to use the Shadow Palette by Colourpop. The first shade that we're going to be using is Big Cocktails. We are going to apply it on our eyelids and this color is the main base for this eye look. Make sure to blend as much as possible. We are also going to apply it under our eyes so it creates more focus on the look and our eyes. The next color is Shuffer. We will be placing it only on the center of the eyelids. We are also going to apply it on the bottom, but only in the middle. We will be using the e.l.f. black eyeliner to simply apply a wing. Next is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Next is the Morphe Bronzer Debutante to give a more natural feel because the foundation was lighter than expected. We are going to apply it around the edges of the face. We are also going to add a bit of color on the cheeks using the Sugar Ball Cushion No. 3 by Arita. Instead of only placing it on the cheeks, we are going to place it on the nose as well, creating this blushing effect. We are now going to use the Shiseido Jinza Red Lipstick in 222. Then we are going to blend it out with a Q-tip. The second lipstick is the Highlight Lip Tint No. 5 by Mamo only placing it in the inner parts of the lips, blending it out with the Q-tip again. You then are going to press your lips together, leaving only a little bit visible, taking your beauty blender and dabbing it into your lips, giving a glow illusion to your lips. At the end, I like to use the All Day Makeup Fixer, making my makeup last for a very long time. This was today's look, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, give a thumbs up, and subscribe! And if you haven't seen my first video, here's a link. Until next time.